Hey everybody, how are you guys? I hope you guys are all good. I hope you're having an awesome day. <laughs> okay, so let's get right into this. So I'm going to go over the rest of the notes that I took um, from Julia's interview and go over them with you guys. Okay, so the press said that her abuser is Christian Bruckner. That is not true. She does not know where they got that from. She never told them that. Her abuser is Peter, is Peter Nay. He, um, Martin Nay was a suspect in Maddie's case. She confronted her abuser. Listen to this. She confronted her abuser three weeks ago. Um, she ran into him. He said he did not recognize her. Uh, so he didn't know who she was at this point. He allowed her to go to the building where he lives, which... Not, not sure what the context is there, you know, surrounding that, but that's what she said. Um, so, again, he let her go to where he lives, but at this point, he does not know who she is, okay? She told him that she knows that his son is Peter Nay to get to see what his reaction was. Peter, and listen, this is crazy. Peter is her mom's mom's husband, so her grandmother's husband. His, pay, um, his face is on picture 4B on Fine Madeline website. She said she will always recognize Peter's face. Always, always. When she told Peter that she knows that him and his son kidnapped children and that he hurt her when she was younger, he started being very nervous, very stressed out. He said, who are you? And how do you know that? When she told him who she was, he kind of like hit her in the face, which she said was, you know, obviously not very nice. Um, she left the building and she met with her grandmother and her grandmother said that she would call her. So her grandma called her about a week ago. Um, she said that for a long time, they didn't have contact for many years, so they didn't talk much. And then when Julia started, to, when she was on the phone with her grandmother and she started to talk about her past, um, her grandma would always change the subject, but she was very calm, like very kind, you know, still wanted to talk, just not about that. Uh, when Julia told her that she knew that her husband is her abuser and was also involved in the Madeline McCann case, uh, the grandmother got very angry, got very mad. She said that she does not know this girl, that she has never heard of her. And then she said, Peter never kidnapped a girl from Portugal. So, kind of weird that she said, listen, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who Madeline McCann is, but knew that she was kidnapped from Portugal, which is kind of kind of strange. Um, Julia's dad told her that Peter kidnaps children. He said that Peter has many more victims. Her father also said, listen, me telling you this, you cannot tell anybody. You know, it's a, obviously it's a big secret everybody wants kept in the dark. Now listen to this. This is the this is the important part that I wanted to really talk to you guys about. So her earliest memory is from a very young child. At, she just remembers a holiday, a white room, you know, not much else after that. Um, and then her next memory that she can remember is of her being eight years old, but she only remembers bits and pieces of memories. Um, she remembers a church. She said she remembers going to a church. She can remember, so from 14 and up, she has no problem remembering anything. Everything is there. Now, this is my thing, okay? 14. What happens when you're 14? You're no longer um, wanted by certain people, right? Because you've aged out. You've gotten older. Okay. Now it's funny that from 14 and up, she has all of her memories. She has all of her everything. She's got it all. But from like her early life up until 14 is all bits and pieces and, you know, just a memory from here or there. Now, here's the thing. Was she being drugged all of those years that she was being abused? <clears throat> was she being drugged? Is that why she doesn't remember things? Is that why she has no, like, no memory of her early childhood? Or 
did her, it was it so bad that her brain blocked it out to protect her from it. Because that's a real thing. You don't believe me? Look it up. That's a real thing. So now the question is, was she drugged for all of those years until she aged out of this group, right? Of this, of these people that wanted her, that wanted to use her. Once she aged out at 14 and she was no longer in that viable group. And you guys know what I'm talking about here. Think about it. Um, you know, she has all of her memories after that. So she was either drugged all the time, all throughout her childhood. So she wouldn't remember certain things that were done to her or pretty much any of her life. Who knows what happened to this girl, honestly. Or did her mind create a barrier to protect her from basically her own memories, right? Basically her own life. Now that's a very important thing. And that's a very real thing. Those of you that are sitting there right now, you know, kind of squinting, looking sideways, raising one eyebrow, like, that's a real thing, okay? Let me just tell you that. So anyways, back to, she said she has an ID card that says she is 21 years old. She does not know that. She also says that she has seen her birth certificate before, but she believes it to be a fake. She does not believe it to be a legit birth certificate. Now, the McCanns did do a DNA test, okay? So the results of that will be coming back soon, and hopefully we will know for sure. The Polish police are saying, nope, 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 it's not her, she's a liar, blah, blah, blah. And like I said, guys, she might not be Maddie McCann. She very well could be, but she might not be. But that does not mean that she is not another kidnapped child. That does not mean that she is not a lost child girl that needs our help, a lost young lady that needs our help, okay? I mean, for for crying out loud, can you not see all of the red flags here? Can you not see all of the things that are surrounding this girl? Can you not see that her, her past has been so bad and so insane that she doesn't even know who the hell she is and her parents are of no help to her whatsoever? As a matter of fact, after she told her grandmother that, um, and asked for a DNA test. She was told that the family wants nothing to do with her. Um, they don't want to know her anymore. And you know what? Any family like that has got a lot of shit to hide. Let me tell you that. Any family that's going to act like that has a lot to hide that they do not want to get out. So we need to figure out what that is. Because this is ridiculous. So let's help this girl. Let's try to help Julia. I have reached out to her. I am hoping that she will get back to me. Um, and I will let you guys, you know, I, I, I think she needs help. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I love you guys. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Keep asking those hard questions and keep spreading that light. I will see you next time.